In this work, we introduce a more efficient biologically inspired planning algorithm, trajectories over locations where planning pays off, referred to as TLPPO. To assess the utility of this algorithm, we compare the performance of a real-time agent using TLPPO against the performance of a current planning algorithm, POMCP, and finally against live mice. For this comparison, we use a predator-prey interaction, where a prey subject is tasked to traverse an arena with a robotic predator without capture, which occurred if the prey was within 28 centimeters of the robot. The performance of the prey was quantified by the survival rate, the proportion of runs where it completed the task without capture. Data was collected for three types of prey, lab mice, a POMCP agent, and a TLPPO agent. TLPPO uses the connectedness of the space to identify places that might contain opportunities. We call those locations where planning pays off, or LPPOs. Then, during the tree search, it creates trajectories that connect those opportunities. The main difference between TLPPO and UCB1, the subsampling method included in POMCP, is that TLPPO only expands the tree at LPPOs and only in the direction of other LPPOs using the shortest path between them. The average survival rate collected from the mice experiments was 87%. We performed a simulation to assess the computational effort required by POMCP and TLPPO to achieve the same survival rate. The agent using TLPPO did it with over 1,000 times less computation than its counterpart. We also determined how many branches the agents could sample for real-time implementation of the task. Results showed that sampling more than 1,000 branches before a decision would cause the agent to stop between moves, affecting its ability to avoid its adversary. Here we showed the experimental task. On the left is the POMCP agent and on the right is the TLPPO agent. As expected from the simulation results, the limitation on branches sampled impeded the performance of the POMCP agent. Many of the POMCP agent episodes were terminated by capture. Conversely, the TLPPO agent often survived. Next, we directly compare the live mice to the TLPPO agent. Similar strategies emerge between the two subjects. For example, in this episode, the robot intercepts the mouse. This results in the mouse backtracking to the start cell. We believe it might be drawing the predator away from the end cell to open up a viable path. Similar backtracking and rerouting behavior are observable with the TLPPO agent. Other notable similarities were moments like these, where the prey pauses at the start cell, waits for belief state to collapse, and baits the robot before choosing a route to evade it. Our results showed that the TLPPO algorithm enabled the agent to interact with an aggressive robotic predator in real time successfully. Its performance was comparable to a live mammal which has evolved a plethora of capabilities, possibly including the ability to plan to survive in this naturalistic scenario.